Hello, hello guys and dolls and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review and a makeup tutorial using the Makeup Forever XL Paints. This is a new product that comes in 20 different colors and I thought rather than just do a straightforward swatch video and just kind of using it in an eyeshadow look, why not do something really fun with such a unique product? So this is an eyeshadow paint that's meant to be used as eyeshadow. Obviously I painted it all over my face and applied it in large quantities. So you're going to see some cracking and texture. In fact, let me go ahead and zoom in and show you guys it's quite textured but I also layered this up like whoa and um caused some of this texture by using some stippling techniques and things like that because I wanted it to have a cracked painterly look like it was done with tempera paint or something um so when you use these on your eyes they look nothing like this they look very smooth in fact I was really impressed with the overall quality of these I tested them out for about a week before I made this video they dry down beautifully. They have enough grip to them that they will really hold on to eyeshadows, but they can also be used on their own. The claim on these is 24 hour wear, so I did actually go to sleep wearing these and look like a crazy person and was impressed by how they still looked pretty good in the morning. I mean, not perfect, but you know, I did sleep on them and probably rub my eye during my sleep and without like being conscious of it. There are 20 colors ranging from your beautiful neutrals. Like the selection of neutrals is really impressive with this. There's really everything from black, brown, white, gray, silver, you know, a rose gold and an icy rose gold and like just the, the color options are awesome with this. I really love the formula. It's crease resistant. It's waterproof, but it doesn't like crack or anything. I've tried some paints from another company recently where they just had a really bad texture on the eye. Now again, this is super textured and gross and weird looking, but that's on purpose. On the actual eyelid when you use them by themselves, they're fine. They're just overall pretty awesome products and I've used a ton of them doing this look, so I'm kind of sad that I wasted them a little bit but on the other hand I got this really cool mask out of it so you know come see come saw. These are $25 for 0.16 ounces or 4.8 milliliters depending on which measurement you'd like to use. For today's look I'm literally going to be grabbing a big old thing of brushes and painting them all over my face. This is kind of no rhyme or reason. I started with the neutral colors to make them a base for it but I really had no intention of making um, this be too perfect. I wanted it to have this sort of painterly funky vibe. So I put all the colors on a palette and just went to town using various different brushes. Uh, trying to kind of keep them somewhat mapped out, kind of even-ish, um, but not really caring too much if things were perfect. So the first colors I used were the neutral shades. There's browns, there's some beautiful taupe colors, there's gorgeous golds, there's a very pale cream color, there is some beautiful silver and the the absolutely gorgeous antique olive, which is just divine, so beautiful. Then I moved on to some of the tertiary colors, like the orange and the pink, eventually moving on to the primary colors, the red, the blue, the yellow, there's a purple, there's a black, just really kind of going to town layering and 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 pretty soon the word layering doesn't make sense. Do you ever do that? Like say a word so many times that it doesn't make sense to you anymore. My favorite one is fish. Fish, 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 fish. And then it just it doesn't make sense. So um, layered this over and over again and once I had used all the colors I went in and layered it some more and got kind of funky with it and just had fun the whole point of this is just to have fun this is not like a pristine perfect makeup look the point is for this to be a little bit on the messy textured side so I wanted to really layer up all the colors for the eyeshadow portion I decided I wanted to just have like a nice dark background so I first used the Pat McGrath eyeliner just kind of smudge that all over my lash line and then over the top of that I used the ultraviolet blue pigment from Pat McGrath and just smudged that on all over to give me a nice dark base. I originally left my inner rims naked thinking that it was a nice clean look. Eventually I decided it would be better with the black liner on the inner rim. To add the stippling texture all over I used this Urban Decay finishing powder brush. This is a stippling brush and some of the white paint and just stippled it all over my face to add texture to the paint. It just adds kind of a splattery kind of look to it and then I went over it again. So now I went over it with more of the paints. Eventually I discovered that I wanted to add a few more products so I added a little bit of the liquid moon dust shadows from Urban Decay. For this 
I use Chemtrail and Recharged. I also use one of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners in Glam Rock, which is a beautiful silver glitter. Adds a little extra fun to the upper eyelid area. And eventually I moved on to the NYX Vivid Brights. This is, this is a great eyeliner line. I used some of these. I used some of the Too Faced liners and just kind of went to town drawing them all over my face. These are a similarly textured uh, like eyeliner. These ones are t tend to flakes. They also kind of contributed to some of the flaky texture. And also I did a lot of like squinching my face like this because it will actually kind of make that crack up and break up. Once the mask was on, I used some of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer just around my mouth to kind of clear up like any redness or anything like that. I used a bit of the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. And for lipstick, I used ColourPop Poppin' Lippy Stick. This is a matte lippy stick. It's really beautiful, the texture. It's very lightweight and feels like nothing's on incredibly comfortable but not quite as drying as a liquid lipstick. I want to give a huge thank you to my sponsor for this video, Audible. If you go to audible.com forward slash vintage, you will get a 30 day free trial, which is awesome. You can try it out. You will love it. It's an incredible way to consume books in a way that is a little bit easier with our like kind of chaotic lifestyles. Like I listened to a book while I created this mask. So I was totally double tasking and loving it. Um, it, it just kind of gave me this vibe, even though the book has nothing to do with the mask that I created. I'm currently listening to The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood and I'm loving it because it has this cool like textured sound to it. Like let me, uh, I'm just going to go to the like beginning of the book. This is Audible. That's what plays when you. Chapter one. The Bridge. Ten days after the war ended, my sister Laura drove a car off a bridge. I'm not going to play any more than that because I don't want to ruin any of the plot of the book, um, but it's a really cool textured sound to it. It almost sounds like an old radio show, which is really cool. Uh, just, you know, you don't get that kind of richness when you read a book. So I love Audible. If you Again, if you go to audible.com forward slash vintage, you'll get 30 days free to try it out. See if you love it. I know you'll love it. So uh, definitely there will be there will also be a clickable link in the description bar down below if you'd like to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to join my notification squad. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful.